everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this quick video I'm going to show you how to tether your camera, your DSLR, to Lightroom. It's very simple and it's very useful because tethering allows you to see uh, a picture on a big screen like this compared to the small little screen on the back of your camera and it allows you to check focus, check your settings, check exposure and also just quickly imports everything into Lightroom for you so you don't have to worry about doing that step later. So in this quick tip I'm going to show you how to do that and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously a DSLR. <laughs> That's very important. Uh, and so the next thing you're going to need is a micro USB cable. This this cable right here is uh, usually comes with the camera when you buy it uh, brand new, and it's included in the box. So you should have everything you need for uh, for tethering. You obviously need Lightroom as well. So if you're watching this video, most likely you have Lightroom. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'll show you how to connect the camera, and I'll show you how to fire up Lightroom so you can start tethering your camera quickly. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the uh, the camera, the USB in, and plug it straight into the computer. And the next thing I'm going to do is look for the AV out digital. That's the part on the camera that you uh, that's the port that you really need. So all I'm going to do is just open this little uh, door here, take the other end, plug it in there, and that's it. We're good to go. All right. So now we're back on to the computer here. We got our camera plugged in. We got our camera turned on. And we are ready to go with uh, getting everything tethered. And so your next step is to go to File up in Lightroom, the main Lightroom menu, and go to Tether Capture and start tether. Now this will bring up another dialog box where you can take your session name. I just typed in Test Tether here, and you can choose the file naming sequence. So you can choose whether you want a custom name. You can do the file name plus a sequence, which is usually the one that I do. And then you can have the sequence start at one or any number that you want. Uh, choose a location for your collections to go, your photos to go insert keywords so I mean if this was like a product shoot you can type in the name of the product uh, type in product shoot all that kind of fun stuff and just click OK so now we have this little box that popped up that says the uh, that's the kind of the tether capture button what this does is it allows you to change the settings on your camera here and this is the shutter button uh, and you can also uh, you can do it that way or you can do it directly from the camera so I have my camera turned on and I have it pointing at uh, for a GoPro for example and all I'm gonna do is on the camera I'm gonna take a picture and you can see up at the top it says transferring files from camera and there we go that's the picture I just took from my camera that's attached to my desk so what it did is it took the picture it automatically put it into the the Lightroom catalog here and everything's great now I can take pictures of of whatever I want and they will automatically pop up in here and they're ready to go in in the, the folder I chose another cool thing that I can do is this is really helpful if you're if you're a product photographer or a wedding photographer or something like that and you want developmental presets applied to every photo that's imported you can click on here and let's just choose one of these guys and now let's take a photo and see what happens so you see how that came in and applied a preset to it really quick uh, it's just a fun little thing to to see that come in and you can have a preset applied to it granted this is probably not the best preset to use but uh, you can see the difference in the uh, the color tones and all the adjustments over here on the right so that's as quick and easy as it is to just go ahead and uh, tether your camera and have everything popping up on uh, your Lightroom automatically so you don't have to worry about doing any other importing or anything like that everything's automatically in there for you and you get to see it on a very large screen so you can click on here and just you know check to make sure my focus was good and, and, and it was so you can you can do that and it's very easy to do so hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video head on over to sleeklens.com for more photography everything that you can think of and uh, this is Jordan from sleeklens.com and I'll catch you in the next video